Are you tired of streaming to an empty chat with zero engagement? Well, fear not, friend. Today, I have seven tips that will help you actually grow your stream in 2023. All right, first up, let's talk about the marker command with Nightbot. This nifty feature allows you to make markers inside the video producer to make quick clips. This will allow you to later repurpose your clips for YouTube Shorts and TikTok and whatever the case may be. Don't forget, you can always use sites like Spike GG to allow you to clip your best moments if you're not that nifty with like DaVinci Resolve or something. Trust me, your future self will thank you for doing this. Next up, let's make your stream more entertaining with soundboards and sound effects. You can use epidemic sound or upbeat to add some pizzazz to your stream. Feel free to use the links below in the description. You'll be supporting the channel because I do all this for free pretty much. Yeah, I do this for free. Okay, so you can either bind keys to OBS or you can use a program like Voice Mod to make it a little bit easier for you. You can bind them all on your numb keypad or you can get like an external, you know, hardware program, whatever you want to do. Your viewers will love you for it. Now, let's talk again about the importance of having a stream schedule again because you can't expect your viewers to come back if they don't know when you're live. So if they actually enjoy your stream, they're, they're not gonna come back if they don't know when you're live. You know, like, it's just common sense, okay? They're not gonna sit there refreshing your page over and over like a crazy person. Let's be real here, fellas. Okay, so make sure you have a consistent schedule that your viewers can rely on, and this will help boost your stream. Like that, yeah, there, right there. Speaking of relying on people, it's helpful to build a support group. You can create a private Discord with other streamers who stream frequently. And what you can do is you can motivate each other, and you can share with each other what works, what doesn't work, and kind of, you know, work together. What this will allow you is you'll learn from your mistakes, and you'll be kind of like light years in front of your competition. Uh, this will also allow you to like be able to set up raids and coordinate with each other and do some sort of collaborations later down the line. So think about it that way. It's like having a virtual hype squad at your disposal. But be careful who you invite to the Discord. You don't want your mom or your dad in the Discord. Just invite the people who stream and are going to help you and you know do similar stuff. Now let's talk about Twitch panels. They need to look semi-professional if you want to elevate your stream to the next level. If you suck at making graphics, then head on over to Fiverr and get yourself a few made up. Even the smallest details can make a big difference, so take the time and make them look good. And one of the benefits of doing this is you can add like little soundboard bits and stuff like that, and you can also add cool little things to your YouTube, Twitter, and you know, do tips. Moving on to Twitch challenges and rewards, this feature is seriously underutilized by so many streamers. You can keep your chat engaged and active for hours by setting up sound alerts or unique channel redemptions. You can always put ways for your viewers to troll you or have it something unique to your, your stream or your channel, you know, like giving your dog a treat. And then what this does is you can have it as a one-time reuse and then the viewers will want to come in quicker so they're the ones that give your dog a treat, okay, if that makes sense. You can get creative with this and have some fun with it and have it unique for your channel. Like you can eat a Twitch or something like that. You know, see what I'm saying? Last but not least, have a plan or script for each stream before you go live. Whether it's to finish Elden Ring or beat the new Sons of the Forest, this is a big one, folks. From the games you want to play, or how long you want to play it for, to how long you want to go live, okay? It, it's like having a roadmap to success, okay? Make sure you have it planned out, all right? So there you have it. There's seven tips to actually grow your stream in 2023. Use them wisely, my friends, and let's make 2023 the year of the streamer. Thanks for watching, and happy streaming.